Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the set of the Tanya Joy Show. Happy to see you here today on this Friday for our Wellness Wisdom Friday. We always are so glad that you join us on this day. I wanna put up this QR code, scan this into your phone. It's gonna take you to all of our links. And what I want you to do is take that to the website, tanyajoy.tv, and check out the brand new website. Please subscribe, I promise you're not gonna be inundated with things but I am trying to kind of take that to the next level. And if you go there and just subscribe, it'll help us rebuild our CRM because we've lost that many times as we've had to restart our website. So that is the QR code. And also if you're new, please hit the subscribe and the bell and the thumbs up and all those good things that helps the algorithms. You know, there's so many things that go into putting on one of these shows. It's kind of unbelievable, Um, but we are just happy to see you. Thank you for supporting us. As always, we've got new content Monday, Wednesday, Friday. However, I do want to put this out there. As we get closer to April, there may not be shows as frequently because I am going to be actually on a stage for most of April. And um, you can go to look at my website and you can find stuff out about that. But I probably will not be able to be getting shows out. We'll see. But just as a warning so that if you go in April and you wonder why there's a rerun, that's why. All right, well, we've got a hot topic to discuss today. Many of you have probably seen some of these tweets and these headlines that now the vaccine is going to cure cancer or that it can cure cancer or whatever. That's the, those are the ones I've seen. So we've got Dr. Sherwood here and we're going to talk about that. And what does that mean? And is it true? Is it not true? What does it look like from a medical perspective? We're going to talk about all of that and more Thank you for joining. This is the Tanya Joy Show, and I'm Tanya Joy. We'll be right back. Okay, well, we weren't shocked. Over again. So, welcome back to the show. As well, I'm so excited to have you both on the show. And I know we had such good uh, feedback and reception. General Flynn, what an honor. Joshua, Joshua tracked me down. In a big tent of about 4,000 people. How are you? I am doing so great. Hello, everybody. Thank God I am wonderfully great. Hello. Thank you very much. Because what is prayer? I'm just doing. You know what I mean? And I'm thrilled to be here with the two of you. <laughs> Me too. It's like- and that's who these crazies, these evil ones. It is. You said it oh, right. Good job. Perfect. All right, the Gibson sisters. We are so excited to have them on with us on Resistance Chicks. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise. These people that get higher up, How sometimes I've thought. These are glory days and not gloomy days. Like, I love it. Huh? <laughs> you know, you know it, it, it kind of works. It works. awesome about the tour is people like you. Good. I love the applause. That's cool. <laughs> there we go. Thank Hi, Joy. You. Everybody, welcome. We are so excited. Ready to get the show on the road? Let's go. Hi, everybody. Despite open borders, staggering grocery and gas prices, and all of the talk of war, there is a miraculous revolution of health taking place across America. And that's because your body is a miracle machine, fully capable of healing itself. That's why we're here today to help you and your body do miraculous things and regain your optimum health. So now is the time for you to learn about the Magic Dicol family of products, the Nanosoma Liquid Spray, the Metasomer Topical Gel, and the Metasomer Telomerase Natural Skin Cream. Join the revolution of wellness and take back your health by signing up for our free video series as I, at IWantMyHealthBack.com forward slash Tanya Joy. Now you can watch our free video series and learn how to take your health back. Go to IWantMyHealthBack.com forward slash Tanya Joy. That is IWantMyHealthBack.com forward slash Tanya Joy. Imagine you can unleash the power of your own body to restore itself. When the Magic Dicol products trigger the nuclear receptors in your body to take care of you in ways you have never even imagined. So go log in now at IWantMyHealthBack.com forward slash Tanya Joy. All right, let's bring Dr. Sherwood in. Hello, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing well, Tanya. It's good to see you. And uh, I vouch for the new website. It looks great. 
thank you. I'm so excited. Like, you know, it's like yeah. having a baby. I'm like, finally, I got my website and it's everything I wanted it to be. And of course I had to do it myself, but that's okay. Cause now I learned another new skill, you know, which is always good to, to have. You did well. I thought it was very good. It's very clean. It's very easy. And I encourage everybody to go there right now. Thank you. I appreciate that shout out. So this is interesting because I've seen these headlines. I haven't had the time to dive in. I don't really know the medical side, of course, because I only hear, you know, what everyone talks about. But I'm real curious about your your thoughts on this. The, the one that I've seen, and I'll just start with that, the headline I've seen was that the COVID vaccine was going to help cure cancer. That was kind of the headline that I saw. And I just thought that was so far-fetched, I didn't even read it. So who knows? It could have been a catchy title. But what are they talking about? And why are these things circulating right now? Well, the reason they're out there now is because in um, the most recent State of the Union by Joe Biden, um, in his State of the Union address, he said that the COVID vaccines technology is the same technology now that's being used to fight cancer or to cure cancer. He's the word cure cancer. Okay. He said that. And then president Trump came back in a tweet and said, thank you very much. The COVID vaccine has saved many lives. The same technology is being used to cure cancer. So he repeated it. So there, there was actually a fight there over who gets credit for that. Right. So that's where it started. And then of course okay. you, you can imagine on the, um, uh, Democratic side, they were embracing that. And mm -hmm. on the, the, I'm not sure what Republican side, the divided, one of the divided sides. Uh, exactly. Really went after, um, no one supported what President That's Trump right. tweeted. Yeah. There was more angry tweets coming back, including right. some of the people coming back in our space. And uh, he didn't take it back at all. You know, no. so I think that is, as I said to you before we went live, that's a, a potential minefield there. Um, it is. It's a very strange one that I personally can't quite comprehend why he has uh, pushed so heavily, you know, to try and get credit for something that really the majority of the of, of the Republicans, the people that are truly like our side, whatever you want to call that. Yeah. They're, they are not pro vaccine. They are not for this. They are unhappy. We've lost lives, all of these things. So it's very strange to me. I always kind of go to the like, okay, what is he trying to say underneath all this? Cause I think he is one of those people that does things and says things to either get attention. It's, it, it's not always what he writes is exactly what he's saying. You know what I mean? Well, but like, what is, is there technology? Like, I'm curious from a scientific side, why would, is that even true? Well, I think that there's partially some truth in that. So let's go back to the technology part of this. Mm -hmm. and, and people need to understand this. And I think it's, we've had a show on this once before, but I'm going to go back to the basics. So inside of the cells, we have a nucleus. Inside the nucleus is our DNA. And at that point in space and time is, that's where sex is determined. When when mm -hmm. mom and dad come together, it's like two potatoes that smash together, making a new mashed potato, winding together, knitting together, if you will, to use a biblical term, the DNA inside of the nucleus of cells and cells divide and make things. Mm -hmm. So the nucleus housing the DNA, when it's cued by something outside of, the, of itself, outside of the cell, like a, a virus, a bacteria, a tissue injury or something like that. The cells communicate inside the nucleus, say, what are we going to do about this? And the nucleus then unravels itself and transcribes a recipe for a protein that can deal with the issue at hand. Okay. The transcription of the protein is then transferred to the messenger RNA mm -hmm. to where we assemble the amino acids to make the protein. So... That's where mRNA vaccines come in, Tanya. The mRNA mm -hmm. recipe for the spike protein, as an example, is inserted there so the DNA doesn't have to unravel it and make it. Under okay. the assumption that the body's going to see the spike protein, which is a foreign type of protein that has foreign signatures on it, mm -hmm. and the body will then see it as a foreigner and develop protein yes antibodies to it right okay. so you can see where the thought process agree or disagree is with that right mm -hmm. now that is 
what they're using now as a technology to go out there and fight cancer. Now, here's where that can okay. be. Yeah. So if you have a cancer cell over here. They're using an mRNA technology, basically. That's right. And okay. so if you have a cancerous cell, the cancerous cell, by some definition, and I tend to fall in this camp, when the cell says I'm cancerous, mm -hmm. it gives a signal that I'm not normal, I'm cancerous, I'm, I'm uh, not functional anymore, whatever you want to call that. Um, I believe that that cancerous signal is a signal for the body to create a defense to that and either fix it or destroy it. Uh huh. So that's one thought. There are another thought of that process that if the cancer gets cancerous, then that's a signal for us to take something from the outside like chemotherapy, radiation and kill it. Yeah. So you, you see the two schools of thought there. One mm -hmm. is when it's cancerous, it's an abnormal, an anomaly, abnormal situation where the body is not doing anything good with it. So I got to do it myself. Yeah. Uh, versus my sort of lean is that it is a signal from the body to do something about it itself. Therefore, we do have what's called natural killer cells. Mm -hmm. Those are produced. But what if you could throw in a recipe of a protein that had these sort of characteristics of natural killer cells, granulocytes they're called, to see a cell that is cancerous and make it toxic to itself. Mm -hmm. So you could actually theoretically have designed proteins that would attack individual type of cancers. So okay. that's where the technology probably has some utility. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. As long as I guess they're my my thing with it is what are they going to use in that technology? Are they going to are they going to put things in there that are dangerous? You know what I mean? Are they are they putting chemicals to create it? And then those chemicals are being introduced to our system that then yeah. could cause more damage down the road. Right. That's just one. That's an issue, because like there's a big old doctrine out of here that says, well, the. um Vaccines contain ingredients that are not just toxic, and that would be probably true to a point. But then they've got graphene oxide, which is a conductor of all this. But just know that graphene oxide is in the food supply. It's in our environment, so it's not a big deal. Um, is it is it intentional? I, I suppose there's a thought out there that it, it could be. Mm -hmm. um, but slash and... My suspicions tell me that if you want to find evil in something, you will. Mm -hmm. And if you want to find good in something, you will. And in everything, this is some wisdom out here. It is all coming from the mind of, of a human being that was created by God, evil or not. And so in everything and every technology, artificial intelligence, liposomal mm -hmm. delivery of anything, even nutraceuticals, which I've used many, many times, peptides, you know, hormones. Uh, in all of that, there is potential for good. Yeah. There's also potential for evil. So it's a fine line between uh, insanity, yeah. evil, and brilliance and faith. Right. Yeah, which makes sense. Like, it makes me think of the semaglutide that we, you know, yeah. we've done shows on versus the Ozempic and the Wachovia or whatever yeah. they pronounce that. Because now all of a sudden you're starting to see lots of lawsuits pop up all of a sudden. Did yeah. you take Ozempic? Did you have this problem? Did you have this problem? We've got lawyers that are willing to fight for you. Oh yeah. That's a very quick exposure. You know what I mean? Like I remember the Tylenol ones or all these different things, but you know, the semi-glutide can help. There's a benefit to it, but it doesn't have, you know, it's just, it doesn't have the bad stuff in it. So it's like, that's kind of how I see a lot of these things is like, like you're saying that even technology, you know, AI, all of those, there's aspects of that that's wonderful that can really yeah. advance. We could advance society that could make certain things easier and faster and more efficient and more automated. I mean, like the AI writers that are out there, those are fantastic. Like I love if I'm putting together a show title to run it through to see what it, maybe there's some words I haven't thought of the the risk is always when we let the machines, if you will, let the system, yeah. let the technology take over and stop using human discernment. 
as it's going through the process, I would say. Well, there's three things to think about, I think, that are utilizing terminology in this space that we, kind of we need to sort of find that bridge with. Number one is um, hackable humans. We've heard Yuval Noah Harari yeah. talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he talks about humans being hackable. Well, uh, that's already happened. It's called Big Pharma. Big Pharma comes in with a medication and it stops or starts processes in an unhuman or nat unnatural way. That's hacking the system. That's taking charge of the system. So we're already there, you know. And then I think another point to keep in mind is um, we talk about ingredients that create problems. Well, that's already been in the system, too, because Big Pharma, yeah. when you hear the commercials, you always hear the side effects. But if you right. ever look at the ingredients in Big Pharma, we say, well, don't do something like a chemical. Well, they've all got chemicals in them. And they're like, oh, and I think the elephant in the room is probably point three. It's with our food supply. That has yeah. so many chemicals in it. And we complain and moan and just gripe and think it's a conspiracy. And I can't believe they're giving us these vaccines. We're continuing to feed the system processed food, which is worse. Yeah. We say well, the vaccines have killed this many people. And I'm like, well, true. Okay, fine. But what about Cheerios? I or mean, it's, donuts or, yeah. it's just awful. And and Tanya, I think that we've got to get some wisdom in here. I know that's why we have these shows. And hopefully mm -hmm. it gets people thinking. I'm not for all in this stuff. But I do think that there's potential out there. Just like was said, I, I really honestly do. If you could figure out a way, and I think technology is there to to target specific things without creating unintended, perhaps, consequences. Right. You know, maybe that's a Again, good thing. A benefit. Right. Yeah, exactly. You can find a good thing. It's, And that is, that's that's the ever discussion or whatever. Yes. You know, when you look at our food, it's it's everything. Everything oh, okay. can have a good and a bad side, no matter what. Look at television, entertainment. Yeah. I'm not right. anti-entertainment by no. any stretch of the imaginations. I'm trying to get into that industry. So like, you know, but the content, well, sure. We need to care about the the stories, the content, right? Like, you know, it's like everything. And, and as we, I think that we're in a season of history, if you will, or a time frame, time point in history where people are starting to recognize, hold on, we let a lot of people take things that were good and twist yeah. them and distort them. And so we we're kind of going, everything has to be reset. You know, when they say this great reset, that is necessary. I agree that we need a great reset, but I believe the great reset needs to be actually back towards the Bible, right? You know, we need to yeah. clean our food. We need to get rid of the pharmaceuticals. We need to make ourselves get back out and get active again. We need to find, use technology, but don't sit on your technology, get outside, get, you know what I mean? Do a balanced life. Um, and that would require, frankly, a great reset of humanity. Yeah. I love how you put that. I love the play on words you use with that. I thought that's brilliant because when we reset, we renew. Yeah. When we renew, we change. The Bible talks about renewing the mind and talks yeah. about renewing the mind on a daily basis. So I think that's the, the great reset. We have an opportunity to do it. And, and I look at our world right now, especially in our country, and it's, it's in a pathetic position mm -hmm. because we've become very critical of even – opportunities like we have we become very jaded and polarized in the the way we think mm -hmm. we become less critically thinking persons and become more divisive as a nation and, yeah. and this is why you know um I, I hear doctors talking on both sides of it of the in this particular subject matter and i think there's probably a hint of truth there but there needs to be some balance, you know, Tanya, because mm -hmm. ultimately um, we, we should not be utilizing the, the tools we have, especially technology, to just gain clicks and gain followers. That That's is like really... so bad and it's so oh. stupid and it's hurting people, you know, yeah. I look at technology in this and and if people don't, I've done I've not done a good job. I've not served you well. I've not done a, an honorable job. Uh, being your friend on the Tanya Joy Shelf, I don't offer some hope. I, I haven't done a good job. And and I mean that with, I get emotional about that because it's important. 
Yeah. People need hope today, man. They don't need a bunch of garbage to get them all anxious. They need something to hang right. on to that's an anchor. And, yep. I, and I, we got to do a good job at that. I completely agree. And that, that you struck a nerve, you know, about clicks and likes and followers. It's, um, I almost, the more I see the push for that and I'm seeing, you know, because of being now stepping into this more entertainment oh, yeah. industry, it's in certain circles all about how many followers do you have and, and certain places you can't get a job if you don't have a million followers oh, or a million God. likes, or you hit a million what the heck does that mean? That doesn't say anything. That That's actually, you could pay the algorithms to get them. Like, it's not even always real numbers. And whether yeah. you have a million followers, you may have only two that ever will look at your stuff ever again. But nobody cares. It's so yeah. fake. It's a very, very, to me, it's, I keep thinking, what is going to happen to society? Because it's not sustainable. No. And even it's it's hitting and people haven't saw this link. And I think it's a good link. People are very aware of right now. I'm sure that unless they've had their head on the rock about the the way that NIL name, image and likeness is affecting college athletics. Yeah. Okay. What is that? And how do they determine how much a person is worth? Yep. It's their social media followers. That's yep. what they're buying and that's what they're paying for. So you're teaching kids now yep. to generate as many followers as they can as much activity as they can because that means money. And then you've got the whole circle out there. I, I you know, call it the Jake Paul phenomenon, a YouTuber. How does that guy go from a YouTuber to a guy that's making millions of dollars? I'm not saying he's a good, not a decent athlete. I'm not saying that he is mm -hmm. not talented. I'm not saying that at all. But when you have that as the goal, mm -hmm. people are willing to do anything to get that, including get this film things that are destructive film yep. things that are deadly and film things that are highly, highly questionable about morality. Mm -hmm. And things that may or may not even be true. Half That's the time. right. That's it's right. a very, I find myself in a, it's literally probably a daily battle because I understand the reality to, this is part of the world. You, you put yourself out there, but I also go, I if that is not going to be my focus. Like if yeah. I'm going to spend three hours a day creating social media content, I would much rather spend that three hours studying a script or working on character development or working on my voice or doing anything that actually builds the talent of the gifts that God gave us. You know, it'd be like as a doctor, you're going to spend all your time out on podcasts, never practicing. And this is happening in the Patriot yeah. world where all of a sudden it looks like these people are these big, huge, big name, whatever they are. And they've never practiced. They've yeah, never done any of it. They're just in a podcast and they've got a lot of followers. You, 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 you obviously, you and I are friends and that's one of my pet peeves, man. Uh, you know, me, we get in the ditch with people. Um, we cry with people. We pray with people. We see people. Yeah, Even yeah. today I've already seen about 10 people and I've dealt with things that are highly sensitive I've dealt with abuse. I've dealt with death. I've dealt with addiction just today. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and that's hard. So, yeah. you know, I always, I'm grateful for the opportunity to share the experiences on the Tanya Joy show. It's not something I'm making up and right. people can call my office and figure it out because yeah. you're right. We, it's like I was sharing with a pastor today real quick and I'll wrap this concept example up. We don't need celebrity pastors. We don't need celebrity doctors and we don't need celebrity politicians because they've forgotten how to communicate and interact and even bring hope and healing into fellow man's because mm -hmm. everybody they talk to has got to be a tool for usage to give them money, donations, opportunity platform. And that's not what, that's not what it'd be about. So I, I encourage mm -hmm. you and everybody else to, to follow heart, your heart, your direction, and really, truly not to over-spiritualize anything, because I don't know what that is anymore. Just yeah. really um, trust the God that we know to bring about the right people, the right interaction at the right time, in the right season to create a good seed and uh, that's planted in a good crop of harvest.
Amen. Yeah. And I always, I, you know, my thing lately is like, don't compromise. It's just not worth it. it, it you could get 20 million followers today and in a week or really tomorrow, someone else could get 20 million, 100, and you are no longer the big thing. And so what are we chasing? I mean, literally what in the world, again, sharing, you know, when, when you're, your work comes first, right? You're doing your challenge. You're doing the things that you're trained and you're good at. And then you can share. That's one thing. That's wonderful. But like, it's got to go in that order because otherwise we are really, we are part of the problem. This is to me, it's like a bubble and it will burst eventually because humanity can't maintain this. It's the ego has gotten so big. It will bust eventually humanity will not be able to survive with billions of people with egos as influencers. I mean, it's just, it won't last. I learned this a long time ago. I can't claim credit for it, but I've used it many times. Ego is an acronym for edging God out. Oh, I like that. And that's what that means. And we need to get that because ego has no room for God. It's all about the individual person and yeah. That's something we've got to get. And, you know, God help me, you know, in the whole deal, because, you, you know, yeah. we've been out there in the um, in the world a bit and uh, on stages and, sure. and on broadcasts and television and movies. And you want yet yeah, you want to be acknowledged. Who doesn't? You want to be able to have um, this sense of appreciation, self-worth value. You want to be known for something good. Mm -hmm. And it feels great to have your work appreciate. I mean, all of that's wonderful. Yeah. But, you know, we're always, it's to me, it's one, it's literally one decision. You're, you were always one thought away from flipping that switch and going, it's all about me. I'm so good. I'm, you know, may we never get to that point, I guess, no. is, is the good place to land no. with that, is that we continue to stay uh, inquisitive. We continue to stay humble. We continue to, seek wisdom through God so that we know the difference and um, make those right choices because it, it is, it's literally one flip of a switch, you know, in the mind. Well, Amen. this was, this is fascinating. And thank you for talking about this because I saw the tweets and I didn't watch the state of the union because I had better things to do, but uh, I did see the tweets and I was like, what in the world? Yeah. Like, what the heck? So it's it's a good discussion to have. So I'm glad we could clarify it. I hope we clarified it. I'm sure we did for all the viewers. And um, thank you, Dr. Mark, for joining me always, as always. And y'all, thanks so much. As you know, we partner with the Sherwoods for all your medical stuff. You need your vitamins. If you need um, like to be able to get doctor checked, you want to check your hormones, whatever it is. The Sherwoods can help you with that. Like, so he comes on for wellness wisdom, but we have a, a business partnership. So I want to make sure I reiterate that if you're looking for a doctor, a, a natural functional health, where they're going to look at the whole picture, contact the Sherwoods. You can go to Sherwood.tv forward slash B. 4A, the number four, um, and check them out. They've got amazing protein bars, the Kingdom Candy. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And um, and same with the Kingdom Fuel. They've got you got your coffee coming out, cereal coming, like yep. so many products, and they're healthy products without the junk that's in them. So go over and check out the website, Sherwood.tv forward slash B. 4A, number four. That's Sherwood.tv forward slash B4A. All right. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. And until next time, bye for now. Can a shake transform your life? Well, if it helps you invest in your health on a daily basis, the answer is yes. Consistency is key. And there's not a better, simpler way to begin your change. That's why we offer a bunch of helpful bonuses when you subscribe to Kingdom Fuel. Kingdom Fuel is our complete nutritional meal shake. It's the simple start to a transformed life. We'll auto ship every month so you don't run out. You'll receive two free shaker cups, free access to our video courses, and a monthly call with us filled with practical inspiration. Just see the link below or on your screen and subscribe today. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Beauty for Ashes with Tanya Joy. Please subscribe, 
hit the notification bell and leave us a comment below. Lastly, if you've enjoyed today's podcast, share with those who came to mind. Be blessed and remember you were created for such a time as this.